Ever heard of the questions before? Yeah. Like ilm ghaib unseen and some of this he doesn't have a knowledge and some say yes, he has a knowledge but unseen. Why? Ever heard of that? If he received a wire or, or revelation that he call like a ilm ghaib from Jibreel, then he had knowledge of the unseen. But in normal circumstances he did. He received revelation from Jibreel. Okay, many people uh, say that uh, he has a knowledge of unseen. Like for an example, who has the knowledge of unseen? When I, when I say unseen, right? Yeah. That means if I ask you, when is the day of Qiyamah? Anyone knows that? No one knows that, right? No one knows that except one God, right? Okay. If I ask you, what's behind you? Can you answer that? According to some people, according to some people, they say that according to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he can say what is behind him, what's behind him. You understand my point? Mm -hmm. According to many people, they think that the Prophet ﷺ had the knowledge of unseen that if someone is standing behind him or behind you, he can say what's behind you. That's a shirk. Because this is something contradictory your pure akida, because according to the pure akida, only Allah knows unseen. Because uh, if you read in uh, chapter six, verse number one hundred three, Allah says, "La wahwa yudriku No eye can see him, but he is the one who can see everything. He can see everything, but none eye can see him. And it also it says in Surah Baqarah, verse number one hundred eighty six. Faiza Sa'ala Kabadi Anni Fa Inni Karib. Like the Allah is asking uh, telling the Prophet وسلم, if my people, my servants will ask you where is Allah and tell them I'm near to you. Even I'm near juggler, I'm near to your juggler vein. It says in chapter fifty, verse number sixteen, Habil Warid. And the same thing mentioned in a Surah Waqya, verse number eighty five. I am very near to you, but my eyes cannot see you. Your question? Yes. 